Okay, let's look at the two bones of the leg, the tibia and the fibula. We'll start here with the tibia. You can see both bones here. The tibia is the medial of the two bones. The fibula is the lateral of the two bones. The fibula is the more slender bone. The tibia is the more massive bone. I always think that the superior or proximal end of the bone with its widening looks something like the letter T. Um, very important that you keep the names straight and not mix them. They both have ibs in their names, so um, I do have students that sometimes mix these up, so try not to do that. We're going to focus on the tibia for just a moment, and let's look at its proximal end. And there are two condyles here, a medial and a lateral condyle. Um, if you have both bones together, you can tell this immediately because the fibula sits to the lateral side of the tibia. And so the condyle nearest it is, of course, the lateral condyle. If you have the tibia separate from the fibula and you're only looking at that, you would look down at the distal end and look for that little hook of bone that is there and it is on the medial side away from the position of where the fibula would be. So the condyle straight above that hook-like feature would of course be the medial condyle. Condyles are rounded structures that are involved in a joint. Uh, the condyles of the femur look much more like what I would think of as a condyle, but nonetheless these have been termed the condyles and the two condyles of the femur sit down in these two condyles of the tibia. These are a little more concave to fit the roundness of the condyles in the femur. Just below and central between the two condyles is the tibial tuberosity. This is a roughened feature where actually the quadriceps muscles attach. The roughness lets you know that something strong is attached there. The bone is extra tough and extra strong in this position. This also happens to be the point of the tibia that you kneel down on. If you kneel down on the floor, the part of your skeleton that will be touching at your knee is this tibial tuberosity not the patella as you might think. If we go distal to this, the shaft of the bone has a very sharp edge in the front which is known as the anterior crest of the tibia. Um, in everyday language people typically call this edge of the bone their shin uh, and it's not uncommon to bang this against something. It's just skin and bone right here. Um, soccer players wear shin guards that cover this anterior crest to protect it from damage, or at least from damaging the skin right over it. At the distal end of the tibia is that little hook-like feature we referred to a moment ago, which is known as the medial malleolus. Um, check to see if you can spell it by pronouncing it properly. If you say malleolus, there it is, mal-e-o-lus. So that's the hook-like feature and actually this is the uh, medial lump at your ankle, the end of the fibula there, the distal end of the fibula and the medial malleolus form the two lumps of bone on the sides of your ankle. Let's look at the proximal end of the tibia in a little more detail here. Here are the two condyles where the femur sits. Here's that tibial tuberosity right there in front. There's one other feature I want to point out here. Um, up between the two condyles, there's a little double hump or a little double little mountain sort of structure. This is referred to as the intercondylar eminence. An eminence is something that is raised. It is often used to talk about people that are more important or at least have some importance. 
Um, and intercondylar gives you the location there between the two cond condyles. So it's a raised feature between the two condyles. And that does stick up between the two condyles of the femur. It's an important attachment site for ligaments that stabilize the knee through the middle of the femur. So there's five or six different features then on the tibia. Let's look now at the fibula. We'll focus on that bone. And there's just two features you need to learn here. The head of the fibula is the rounded ball-like end. It does have a tiny projection, but it, if you look at the two ends, this is much more ball-like. The lateral malleolus is this distal end and is typically much more pointed. So make sure you can tell the two ends from one another on the fibula. Let's take one last look at the distal end of the two bones here. Here is the medial and lateral malleolus. If you picture the talus of the foot fitting up between these two features, you can see how these are the lumps at your ankle. Uh, one other feature that we should point out here, it's not very obvious, but let's put in what is known as the fibular notch. The fibular notch is on the tibia, and the tibia here is cut out there's a, there's a definite cutout in the side of the tibia so that the fibula can nestle into it. So you would say that the fibular notch is 180 degrees from the medial malleolus and a place where the fibula can fit directly into the tibia. So it would be a good idea to actually handle these two bones and see how they do fit together and make sure you can identify all of their features.